back to everybody, another episode of Beat Time, episode 53. It's been a while. It's been a pretty eventful week and a lot of stuff has happened and we're going to cover as much of it as we can, so stick around till the end. A lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, before that, if you're interested in picking up any cards from TCG Player, then please use the affiliate link down in the description below. Purchases you make through this link helps us support the channel so we can get make great videos for you. And with that bad scripted part out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> let's go straight into the leaks. Now, as you might have known, a lot of YouTubers are doing the premium reveals and they're happening on Saturdays. Well, we record on Fridays, so whatever uh, post Different Fight did today, be it in a few hours or before uh, after, uh, after this video, or before this video posted, that's a strike we're going to cover next week time. It's probably really good, it's probably really broken good for them, but we're going to go with the back in time, ironically time. <laughs> <laughs> to last Saturday's stride, revealed by uh, Vanguard Insider himself, Indivisible Dragon, Grok Grok Dragon. Stride for Gear Chronicle, really, 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 really fun. My brain. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into premium content later down the road, so stick around. But for right now, its effect is Auto Vanguard. When at, at the end of the battle, the disaffect costs Cannabis 1 and bind 4 rare guards. Put this unit into your G-Zone face up, search your deck up to, for up to 1 grade 3 or greater card, ride it at stand, it gets drive by its own until the end of the turn, and shuffle your deck. So basically, you get another Vanguard and it kind of follows the Gear Chronicle, grab my high grades or grade 3s from deck and ride them and do the things. So it helps the standard decks a lot. What combo this uh, presents? That, I will honestly leave it up to Vanguard Insider. I'm gonna post, uh, uh, honestly, a link to straight to his channel. He talked a lot about this card and a lot about combos with it. So go check him out. He's the Gear Crunk Master, in my opinion. Yeah. But, for some interesting plays straight up, you can go this card, grab a next stage from deck, grab a Chrono Jet from your soul, and have three Vanguard swings. It forced you, you get all double critical. Oh yeah, and since this card also binds, you can set up your deck in, in a way where you get to 19 real fast, grab a Mystery Flare with this card, get an extra turn, do shenanigans, and then, like I said, Banger Insider is the man to go, because he figured out how to way, how to do four extra turns. Yes, you heard me right, four extra turns, so go check that out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on, like all the other trends, Dragon Flame is starting, starting to show up. And like in the pre previous week, we've seen the starter and another card for Deep Police now. So of course the starter is Melbourg Black Boy, and have, of course has the whole when rod upon draw card, get an, uh, get an shield ticket, quick shield ticket, if you're going second technically, so. Does this mean we're getting Metal Wars? Please no. I don't need that deck to travel around our group again. Anyway, the other card is Dimensional Robo Daigiro? Daigyro. Auto Guardian Circle in one place, retire this unit, and one of your vanguards gets 5k until any end of the turn. So basically, you're stubbing out a 10k shield guard for a 5k shield to the vanguard nonstop. Basically, giving all your, your uh, guardians down uh, for that turn an extra 5k shield and an extra total 5k shield. I think I had something similar to this back in G with the. Uh, Dark Regular? The Dark Regular G Guard. I mean, it can help out quite a bit, especially against decks that are very aggressive, like Aqua Force. Excel. <laughs> any Excel deck. Hey, I need, I need just a little bit of power to stop any Excel deck. Let me throw this down, retire it, give Anger 5k, and say, my turn. <laughs> I mean, it's like a mini, it's like a mini defensive trick. Yep, yeah, pretty much. The old defensive trick. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. Same principle. We saw Lane Jerkers. And no, no massage just yet. Patience. No Star Vader either. Good things. <laughs> of course, Vast, Taurus, Danilo, Danilos? Uh, continue to trigger, if there is a total of two more face down cards in any fighter's binds or circles, this unit gets power 10k. Although it does look like a star I have to long solve them, for them boy. Anywho, um, 10k for what Link Jerker wants to do, lock itself and bind your opponent's cards face down in standard. And premium, lock your opponent, so this also counts there. A lot of people were speculating, hey, Locke's coming back in the sense of Locke your opponent. Mm -hmm. I really don't think so. Nah, it's probably just premium flaws, but I mean, it may or may not see play until I comment. Yeah, 
Great. Two. Common. Yep. I mean, it's a Tony K beat stick, don't get me wrong, but it's still. Eh. Yeah. The starter for Link Joker this time around is Ionization Master Glubridge. Oh, of course, when wrote upon, draw a card, and then if your opponent is, great, uh, is grade 1 or greater, quick shield ticket. Same ye old starters. Moving on. Ah. Stream leaks. I don't know what to say. They showed us some really good Royal Paladins for premium and premium standard. Mm -hmm. And but let me just show you what the cards do. You want to do them? Yes, actually. Um, so you want to start from the bottom or you want to go start for the bottom? bottom? Go standard premium first with the so, whole blaster engine. All right. So we got some leaks from the Masa uh, Magic Sword Blaster deck. We got Wiggle Brain, and he is very reminiscent of the original. Very. Actually, he's, he's a combination of two, isn't he? He's the <laughs> weird, weird child of Wiggle Brain and Wiggle uh, Youth. So his skill is. Auto Vanguard Rearguard. When it attacks or the attack that it boosted hits a Vanguard, look at seven cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one card with Blaster and its card name from among them and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Just Blaster. Just Blaster. Just Blaster. And what does that mean? Blaster Dark, Blaster Blade, Blaster Javelin, Blaster oh. Rapier, Blaster uh, Not Sword, Blaster uh, ja Arrow, Javelin. Okay. I said Javelin. Said Rapier, said Dagger. Dagger, there we go. Majesty Lord Blaster, Psychic Lord Blaster, uh, Escapade the Blaster. Any of them. It means that your Masonic Lord Blaster gets way more consistent. And it doesn't go away, and it's a Vanguard Rearguard skill. Yeah, so you just plus, even every time it hits. And there's so many different options, why not? Uh, the Stride. They leaked the Premium Collection Roll Belt and Cover Stride. Oof. So. I did not expect this. Let's talk about the spice. Holy Dragon, Crystal Luster Dragon. Act Vanguard once per turn. Cost turn a card from your G zone face down. Or face up, sorry. <laughs> yes, turn it face down. No, uh, turns it face up until the end of turn, this unit gets all the original abilities of one of your hard cards. What? Is that it? Uh, no, it has another skill. Continuous. Vanguard, Generation Break 3. If you have three or more grade 2 or greater units, when your opponent would call cards from his or her hand to guard circle, he or she must call three or more at the same time. So it's DI and Royals with a stride having a hard card ability. So all you have to do is have two grade two rearguards. Because it counts itself for one of the calls. Grade two or Oh yeah, units! Fudge! So any Royal deck pretty much is gonna have this. I mean, look at it this way. Copy is one of the hard card's abilities. What does this mean? Well, if you go watch the stream again, at the end of the stream, they actually show uh, a Legion. So basically what happened was they strode over the Soul Saver, uh, Fink Saver Legion, and then used the skill, flipped something, copied the Soul Saver, uh, Saver, <laughs> Fink Fink Saver. Soul Saver, Fink Saver, same purpose. Fink Saver ability. And because it had a Fink Saver ability, they could do the Legion ability and grabbed another, you know, Blaster Seeker, right? Yes. And Legion. So they had Legion Heart and a Legion Vanguard, which was a great force track. Yes. So it worked. What this means for other cards? Well, you can have your Gancelot and have your Blaster Blade with a stride, but also Blaster Blade a, on a rear guard with a drive check because he's a Vanguard. I can take it too small. I'm getting there. I'm building it. <laughs> I'm building it. What about Alt Mile? I was getting to it. <laughs> Any Alt Mile? Hey, let me just copy this. Hey, I have no face-up uh, damage. Hey, everything is 10k. Hey, there's an alt mile in solo, everything is a critical. Why not? It just it just takes honestly, again, it's made for standard. It takes your standard decks and says, do. But it's this is one of the few cards we've actually seen that works really well with other premium cards. Here and there, like uh Escapade the Blaster, mm -hmm. it's not gonna work well with this, because Escapade's on place and then it has a shrine ability, so that's not gonna work. I mean you use this with a Sonic or a Blaster? Hey, there's a Vanguard that's big. Really big. big. Triple Drive, even better chances of hitting it. And it has a guard restrict, so you have to put your opponent has a guard, and uh, I can't just PG with uh, two cards. Speaking of that guard restrict, it is like it is GB3, but still, you go uh, first and your opponent strikes first. If you can survive that turn in G guard, this is active. Yes, this is straight up active, and it's three cards from hand. It doesn't sound a lot, but it is. Especially when, say, you're going against Blasters and they have a restanding Blaster Blade with Flugel Crits. Oh yeah, no kidding. Just yeah. have an all. <laughs> it's just, 
If the possibilities are endless. Exactly. It's only gonna get better down the road because say Majesty Lord Blaster is gonna, you know, be able to abuse it, that we'll never be seeing it. And again, a premium card. We might showcase it, but again, we'll get to that to the end. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, am I moving on correctly? Yes, yes, I am moving on correctly. We have an OTT. The Director Angel. Not an Angel better, it's an OTT. It's an Angel. Confusion out of the way. Auto Rigor. When placed, look at two cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one card from among them and put it on the top of your deck. And put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. I mean, OTT is getting a lot of stacks. I mean, I guess that's their new gimmick is, you know, stacking the deck. I mean, take this a bit too far, it can really go sideways and OTT just dominates everything. Because you can set up your damage checks, drive checks, anything you want. Like, there's a great one already that looks at top three. Mm -hmm. We've covered it. Um, and then this can kind of tweak it a little bit more. And they're getting a bit scary of how much they can manipulate what's going to happen. And this is just, you know, a common. Yeah. Just imagine what the big stuff's going to do. I see some I am not look, looking forward to where uh, OTTs go. I mean, if Susan, OTT players, I'll tee. If Zeus knows anything like his original, this is going to be really fun. Oh. Moving on. More premium collection. Which one do you want to cover? <laughs> I'll let you cover the one. Uh, okay, first off. This is a Nova Gapo card. It is not a Link Turn. It is not a Deep Police. It is a Nova Gapo card. All my Nova players, I'm sorry. We got yeah. the short end of the stick. The alien we, queen with thighs. We have Heteromorphic Dragon King Azdabulk. This looks cool for another grappler. In fact, damn. Auto Vanguard when attacked, when it attacks, cannot bless one turn a card from your G zone face up. And stand all of your front row rigors. This unit gets power 5k until the end of battle for each card that was stand. That was stand. That's it. That's all we got. Very simple. It is like. Put this card two years ago, it would have been amazing. Oh yeah. Right now, with everything power creep and the, all the other Nova Grapple shards that we have access to, this is just going... This looks like a unit that was 10 years too old. Look at it this way, you run this in any old G era deck, you're only going to stand two units, it's only going to get 10k. You have way better shards to do way more with standing and stuff like that, okay. why use this? And if you run this in a standard Excel deck, Nova Grapplers, Again, you're going to stand three units on your first stride, maybe more down the road if you survive that long. But still, on your first stride with an Excel marker, it's only going to get 50k and it's going to stand your rear guards. The rear guards that stand, unless they have specific effects, they're not going to do anything regarding power, so you're not going to get that much out of it. They're going back to the heel bushy tactics of really cool art. Bad effect. I mean, if anybody, and if any Nova Grapple player has any idea how to use this really well, please let me know. One of my good friends, David, he's a very good Nova Grapple player. He was mad. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I bet he was. <sighs> so, I also got another stride. Great nature. <laughs> I want to see you pronounce this name. This is going to be fun. Oh boy. Alright. Omniscience um, Dragon, Tikabekahum. I have no idea. I'm not going to attempt that again. I mean, I, props to Solomon for trying so many times. I know. I'm not going to try it. It's, it's, tip. Uh, That's all I'm going to call. I can't even do the first, scum, scum, I guess. Scum. I don't know. Anyway. Don't say it like that. Auto, thank card. When this, a card, your card is put from your rear guard or deck into your drop zone, you may put that card to the bottom of your deck. So, helps with your mill strategies. And course the old G strategies. And then auto vanguard when your rear guard attacks cost soul blast one, turn a card from your G zone base up. That unit gets power plus five into the end of that battle for each face of card in your G zone. And at the end of that battle, retire the unit. Okay, there's some gripe about this card. Solomon covered it as well. Go watch his video. I don't know if I'm saying go watch this video. Go watch that YouTuber. They're good YouTubers. They know what they're doing. But he's covered it just really nice. It's a decent effect. It works good with the whole lottery, what Great Nature is doing right now by milling cards, mm -hmm. as it puts cards back into the deck. It works off of its own skill, you know, when it, it gives something power, it's going to retire, and then if you want that thing to go back to the deck, you can. So it's a really good deck, and it has some sort of potential of, you know, flipping G zones and getting exponential power, because anytime you flip, it's 5k more to the next unit that attacks. But you do got to you know, soul is a resource. I agree with everything that Solomon said. 
You got way better strides to do way uh, better things. And it only works really, I guess, well with the standard deck. Like if you go back into the olden Great Nature strides, yes, it retires, but it doesn't retire properly. Most of the strides, like Duck, uh, not strides, most of the rear guards, like Duck Build, need their retires to happen at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're not gonna work. So this thing, mm. stands in certain shots with the old stuff. It does somewhat with the new, but at that point, it's like, I guess? I mean, you are trying to say these strides are supporting v deck, so. I mean, put all the stuff that says mill the top card, mill the top card, mill the top card, you're not gonna mill yourself out at least. But that's about it. The best part about this is, you know, is it a uh, May? It is a May. So, I mean, you can choose to put all your triggers that you mill way back into your deck. But then unless you shuffle, you're not getting any value out of it. Yeah. And then the whole retire effect, it's an Excel plan. Yeah. Like, unless your, your great nature is retiring and getting cards back, mm -hmm. they won't, don't want to retire. Yeah. This thing just straight up retires, you're not getting nothing back. You're just you lo losing a unit for power. Yeah. And losing soul. It's a weird card. <laughs> it is weird. Moving on. Back to standard. We got Calgara apparently, a rare. Grade one. Intense Aim Dragon. He is intense. That's pretty intense. Auto Rigor, when it boosts a grade three, costs soul blast one, choose one of your opponents, back row rear guards and retire it. Simple, straightforward. Foreshadowing a lot of grade threes for Kagura, which means probably division token. Probably. And, and or, you know, the cross? Maybe. We'll see. Now, speaking of Kagura, oh, so, so, today, Friday, recording, the second stream happened. They decided to show us a double rare and a rare. I think it's a rare. I think it's a rare. That support Blade Master, but we're gonna go a little bit in depth to these, not too long, thankfully. We're gonna start with Dragon Dancer Soja. Auto Rigor at one place costs Soul Blast when return up to one Waver Strike Doha and Va Waver Strike Garen from your drop zone to your deck and shuffle your deck. This unit gets 5 can till the end of the turn for each returned card. So at mass you get 10k, but this is the fun part, it's returning the grade 2 and grade 1 that, need, uh, that Blade Master needs in order to activate its skill. Similarly, Dragon Dancer Faja. Continuous Rigor during your turn if your opponent has no rear guards, this unit gets 5k. Auto Vanguard rear guard, when placed, look at 5 cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to 1 Waver and Strike Doha or Waver and Strike Garen from uh, among them and put it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Both of these cards look for the Grade 2 and Grade 1 the Blade Master needs. Yes. That's really good, in my opinion. Like, you get your pieces that you need, your deck thinning. And then you're putting your pieces back so you can get them again and gain some power. It's not a bad, you know, back and forth. I mean, the way I look at it, this card is like a uh, one card K and better deer combo. Yes. Because basically you use this, you get the grade two, grade two gets the grade one. Now you have plus three units on board for one counter blast. Pretty much. There's a few things here. This is foreshadowing to the biggest degree. And I'm going to go step by step here. One. The grade two says, during your turn, has no rear guards 5k. So it wants to be in the front row, and it's a 15k beater, so it wants to attack. Well, both of these also interact with Doha and Garen. They, they want them to be kind of centric for power in your hand and all that. Which means it supports the old Blade Master, and it can actually also foreshadow the new Blade Master also needing them for whatever he wants to do. Yes. There comes then all this combo problems. If you just take the current Blade Master, you got Doha and you got Garen, and you got this Grade 2 on the board, you, you're able to call the Vision Token, so you have two Grade 2s and a Grade 3, who's gonna go to the front row and attack? Because mm -hmm. Doha, if he attacks, and is, uh, he's uh, you know no, uh, no normal units, that's not too shabby, and if he's boosted by Garen and then that hack hits, you get pluses. While the other card's just a 15k uh, beater. Yeah. There's problems here with space and attacking. What the hell is Soen going to do? There's a few things here. Either Soen's going to retire the Garen and the Doka to make the Vision Doka, or put him into Soul, because I see a lot of Soul Blast costs, but I don't know if Soul Surge. Yeah. Or something of the sort. Like, there's so much... There's so much... Um, Give and take. It's something like that, yeah. There's conflict between these cards that it's not working. It, there is, you're searching him. But there's gonna be a great two in the back row that's not doing nothing. Unless we get a violinist of our own in Cargo. What, what if this Soen makes the vision token attack from a back row? Don't make it broken. 
Don't make it that broken. Yeah. I mean, the grade one, we, the arrow guy, the aim guy, yeah. needs to boost the grade three. Granted, it can boost of anger, but most likely it's made for the vision token. Yeah. We'll see. There's a lot of ifs and a lot of weird questions now with Carver and Blade Master, and there's nothing on the horizon for Overlord, which makes me even more scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anywho, 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 that was it for the week's leaks. Yep. Hope you found that enjoying. Let's go on to more news and stick around here. First off, Let's talk about premium collection real quick. We're getting a lot of strats. We know we're gonna get strats. We know we're gonna get new triggers, apparently. There's, and we know we're gonna get creative moves, but there's something off. There's 57 cards in the premium collection set. Eight of which are confirmed to be Cradle Mentals. So you count the stride plus extra Cradle Mentals here and there, whatever they do. We saw one already, so there's like six more to go. Well, that's, that makes it, let's see, 57 minus 8, that makes it there where it's 49. So there's 49 cards in the deck. Well, hold up. There's 24 clans, right? Because mm -hmm. they're not going to do token round. Don't even get your hopes up there. <laughs> 49 minus 24 for all the strikes. And minus another 24 for all the uh, triggers. That leaves us with one card in deck, or one card in this set. Um, what is that one card? This is where our speculation comes in. Mm -hmm. We believe it is a order. It is a premium order. Mm -hmm. A premium. Premium only order. Probably. If it doesn't have the V symbol on the bottom, you can't use it in standard. But if it does have the V symbol on the bottom, that's going to be great. Otherwise, it's a premium only order. What can a premium only order do in premium? Well, maybe it fixes the card. It's already broken in premium, thanks to the <laughs> Um I think it's probably going to allow you to jump strike. Kind of like how, because then it makes sense to raise why, um, what's his name, Dao? The, uh, the Murakumo? The Murakumo stride basically jumps so fast and is so fast and aggressive compared to the rest. But then like, the order just doesn't work for that one clan. <laughs> I mean, you can still use it, but at that point you're like, well, we can sacrifice this order to make it more consistent in other areas. Not wrong. Um, but hey, maybe it'll fix it. Maybe everybody else will be just as fast just having the order. You just have to sacrifice deck space to make that, that aggressive. Just to make it clear, we're speculating. This is not confirmed that it's going to be order, we're just speculating. It's it's going to be interesting if it is. If it's not, maybe they did some sort of wrong math here. We'll see. Leave it down in the comments below what you guys think what it is. I mean, usually the maps are right on these. It's more than likely an order. It probably ain't going to be that kind of order, but more than likely it's an order in the set. We'll see. Moving on. Some regrettable news. Um, well, not regrettable. Everybody knew it was coming. Yeah. Due to the um, outside problems, Bushiro finally decided to do it. And they made a post where, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we have made the decision to cancel the rest of B uh, Bushiro Spring Fest 2020 for health and safety, all players, partners, and staff. We saw all this coming. Like, they started canceling Atlanta, Chicago, here, there, everywhere. They they canceled all of America except for one spot. I'm like, really? They're gonna really attempt to try this one spot for it? It was, it was coming. We knew it was coming. It was just, this is official now. Yeah. And that's about it. It is. It's official. At this no point, Spring Fest this year. I mean, it sucks. You know, I was really looking forward to Team League, but I mean, singles is still a thing that can come around the corner depending on how things play out. You're not wrong. But hey, Championship Series coming down in fall, hopefully. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, last bit of news. Let's talk about the channel and let's talk about premium. Oh boy. So, we decided to do premium. We showed the Murakuma vs. Gear Chronicle. Granted, I can't say that's Murakuma vs. Gear Chronicle, that's Murakuma beating the shit out of Gear Chronicle. <laughs> You're not wrong. Anywho, we decided to do premium. I won't say there's problems, but there's problems here. We're not that good at premium. I want to say we're not good. We're rusty. Correction, we're rusty. We haven't There's, played any form of premium since the reboot. So we're a little bit rusty in the pace, in the strategies, in the mentality of premium. We're also a little bit rusty in the deck building of premium. Yes. We attempt, honestly, I'll be completely honest, we attempted to do a Royal Valley versus Gears today. This man lost it with Gears. My brain. Like, we, we tried so many different builds. It, it's just, we're rusty and we don't want to showcase something bad. Granted, we put that Murakuma video up. <laughs> but 
pretty much states what you can do if you give him damage. You Don't know. give Murakumo damage. No. But then, to the kind of point, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna play Bobo now. He's not wrong. Bobo probably will be a big part in that deck. Especially since you can search if your opponent gives him a great two. Yeah. You give me one cannon blast, Bobo gives me two and a cannon charge. You give me no cannon blast, I'm just gonna stride into something random. Go Bobo, and then give you an ultimatum. You ought to kill me next stride or you lose. So yeah, that's Murakumo now. Anywho, with the other cards, we're gonna do the best we can. But, this is where the fun happens. We're asking everybody here to help us. As you, some of you may know, we have a Discord. In that Discord, please put any and all ideas, deck recipes, combos, this and that, for premium stuff, so, so we can kind of get an idea of what to do. Yeah. Because right now, we're just, Fishing in the water. I built an Oakmile deck through a couple of Brave cards in there, through some stuff. It technically works and it's fun. And it has a multi attacking combo because you can still run the Cannon Blast, Search your Grade 2, and then if you Cannon Blast correctly, Oakmile will be. It's fun. But there's probably some more stuff that I missed, like Grade 1s and maybe some triggers. Yeah. Gear Chronicle, there's so many ways to do it. Banger Insider, if you're watching, help! <laughs> but, um, yes, please in the Discord, join us. Leave some deck recipes, leave some ideas for premium, for any and all strides that come out. We'll look through them, we'll try to make as best of the decks we can, and then start recording and showcasing those. And hopefully it'll be somewhat decent. We're not going to say we're going to show exactly how a deck is supposed to be played. No, we're going to showcase the cards, the strides specifically, and then you guys can go from there, think about combos, think about better interactions. It's just like an interaction we found out about today with Gear Groovy. If you go into uh, Gear Groovy, the new stride, and uh, oh yeah, we forgot to mention that, and we have just a little bit of time. Real quick, listen. Time leap. You can copy uh, the new history maker stride with Gear Groovy. If you swing with your rear guards, use swing with Gear Groovy that has the history ability. Time leap those units, and then at the end of the turn. You cannot bless one and bind four of them. The original time leap units are gone, so the time leap units are gonna stay in bind. So you're gonna bind eight cards, four of which are grade plus one of the cards that you bound originally. Yes. You can really fast turbo to 19 with that. Be careful though, <laughs> I messed up. You gotta know what's in your deck, if you can grab the correct grades, left and right. But it's an option, like, think of it this way. You put a grade one, grade one, grade two, and let's say grade three on the board. And you swing with them, and you then swing with the uh, gear group with history and the new stride ability. You are gonna bind one, one, two, three. So that's two, four, seven already. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna grab out of your deck a four, a three, and two, and two grade twos. Granted, those grade twos are not gonna do nothing, but still. At the end of the battle, you're gonna bind those four. So that's two, four, uh, two, four, eight, eleven on top of the seven, that's already 18 there. Just from one stride. Yeah. Time leaping and binding. Have fun with that info. <laughs> Anywho, I think that wraps it up. Yeah. Anyway, as always, if you liked the video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. In that case, ring that bell to get notified. Leave a comment down below. We're, we're probably gonna read it. And maybe even follow us on Facebook and join our Discord. But as always, I've been Philip. This is Alex. And let's hope Premium doesn't kill us. We'll see you in the next one. Right. Woo! All right. <laughs> My God, that Gear Chronicle deck just messed you up, didn't it? It did. <laughs> <Good> mentally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>